The stock market is a ledger of who is willing to buy or sell at what price. Orders can come in as limit orders, which execute at the price stated or a better price, whereas the stop orders execute market orders when the price reaches a predetermined level. However, the stock market has become heavily dependent on the use of options. Calls are the right to buy at a specified price, whereas puts are the right to sell at a certain price. When buying options, a market maker is normally on the other side of the trade. These market makers are exposed to P&L profiles that are the opposite of the party buying from them. Market makers are not interested in taking directional bets in the market, but instead make money from the commissions they get for simply providing liquidity in the derivatives market. Thus market makers can make money as long as they hedge themselves and keep the exposure on their exp positions neutral and the, until the option expires or is exercised. To do this, market makers need to hedge their exposures in a process called a delta hedging. The first exposure that we will look at is gamma exposure. As an example, this is a market maker who is short a call. The slope in the PNL at the current price is the current delta of the option. The market maker first has to buy stock that is proportional to a line going perpendicular to this delta slope. By doing this, the market maker effectively changes their PNL profile to one that is rotated, such that the delta slope is flat at the current price. The process is the opposite from market maker that is short a put since the line perpendicular to the delta slope is pointing to the left direction this time instead of the right, the market maker sells a proportional amount of shares in order to delta hedge themselves. In doing this, the market makers can create new PNL profiles which make up their delta hedged positions. This creates two general states that market makers can be in. When market makers are short calls or short puts, the market makers have short gamma or negative gamma exposure. When market makers are long calls or long puts, the market makers have long gamma or positive gamma exposure. As the price changes, the market maker must dynamically adjust their delta hedges, which essentially keeps re-rotating their PNL profile to ensure that their delta slope is always flat at the current price. When a market maker is long a call, decreases in the price forces the market maker to buy more stock. On the other hand, increases in the price forces the market maker to sell more stock. This is true not just for market makers who are long calls, but also for market makers who are long puts, meaning market makers who are long gamma. By knowing how market makers will be forced to delta hedge according to changes in price, one can implicitly know at what prices market makers would need to place buy and sell orders. When market makers are long gamma, this has the effect of putting limit buys below and limit sells above, thus stabilizing markets. If a wave of new sell orders ends up pushing the price down, the limit orders that market makers are forced to make help push the prices back up. Likewise, limit sells at the other end ensure that rising prices are pushed back down. Thus, when market makers are long gamma, the market tends to be mean reverting. When market makers are short gamma, market makers are forced to buy when prices rise and sell when prices fall. Thus, when market makers are short gamma, implicitly they have sell stops below and buy stops above the current price. Small decreases in price can thus become amplified by the selling of market makers. Thus, negative gamma in the market leads to amplified price movements, both up and down. By accumulating the different types of options that market makers are long and short of, one can construct a rough estimate of the aggregate PNL profile that market makers on a whole are exposed to. This can be used to create an implied order book that shows where market makers will be forced to place buy or sell orders, according to the price. When the option market becomes large enough, the delta hedging by market makers can become the primary driver of prices in the stock market. In such conditions, by knowing the implied order book, traders can identify certain points where prices are likely to become anchored to, and regions where prices are likely to move in one direction or another. It is thus tempting to think that when market makers are short gamma, this can lead to sustained and perpetual selling which eventually crashes the stock market. However, market gamma rarely goes negative. To understand why, one must realize that in order for market makers to be short gamma, investors need to bid for options. The bidding of options has a tendency to increase implied volatility. Increases in implied volatility decreases the gamma exposure of market makers and thus reduces the amount of delta hedging that they must do to hedge their gamma exposure. However, implied volatility also creates a new type of exposure that market makers must delta hedge against, which is their Vanner exposure. 
Delta hedging Vanna exposure depends on the increases and decreases in implied volatility and the moneyness of the option. This can be a little tricky to remember at first, so for the purpose of this video, we will focus on the effects of a market when investors have been selling out of the money puts, thus leaving market makers long out of the money puts. In environments where investors are not able to collect enough yield on safer fixed income assets, investors can engage in selling out of the money puts to get a constant stream of yield, which is known as risk premium harvesting. By selling puts, this leaves the market makers long gamma, which essentially puts limit buys under current prices and helps create a mean reverting environment. Drops in prices causes market makers to buy this, thus helping push prices back up. Selling is also typically accompanied by increases in implied volatility. Market makers who are long out of the money puts must hedge their vanner exposure when implied volatility increases by buying more. This also helps support prices. Thus, if selling in the market leads to increases in implied volatility, market makers are forced to support prices even further. The net effect is that the market makers hedge their, both their gamma and vanna exposures by buying more whenever prices fall and implied volatility increases. However, if a large enough wave of selling were to occur that can sufficiently overcome the implied buy orders of market makers, this can cause those puts to suddenly become in the money. As the puts become in the money, market makers must now suddenly hedge their vanna exposure by selling a lot of stock due to the high implied volatility. This helps to push down prices abruptly. The sudden drop in prices can cause investors to become very nervous and start buying out of the money puts. These out of the money puts create negative gamma in the market, which forces market makers to sell more as prices drop, amplifying downward movements in price. Market makers must also sell more as implied volatility increases, while the market makers short puts remain out of the money. The combined effect of market makers selling to hedge both gamma and vanner exposures accelerates downward movements in price, which can cause more investors to buy more out of the money puts further exacerbating negative gamma and vanna exposures in a, in a vicious cycle. However, when implied volatility does decrease, market makers will be forced to buy back or cover whatever stock they were selling or shorting to hedge their vanna exposure. One common way this can happen is simply due to the expiration of options, which the market makers must react to by buying back whatever stock they were selling or shorting during the downturn. And this massive amount of buying can cause huge rebound in prices Knowledge of how market makers are forced to hedge their gamma and vanna exposures can be used by investors to identify conditional probabilities where the market makers are likely to push prices up or down based on changes in price and implied volatility.